Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today we are going to discuss about who is an environment management specialist. However, before we start, let me tell you about the key deliverables of this session. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand who is an environment management specialist. What are the roles and responsibilities of an environment management specialist? What are the typical skills environment management specialists are required to possess? So let's begin our session and talk about who is an environment management specialist. Environmental specialists are experts who monitor the impact of a population on the environment, identifying environmental issues and recommending solutions. Their chief goal is to improve the living conditions of the environment. They ordinarily work in power plants or chemical plants. Environmental specialists use their knowledge of natural science to protect the environment of human health. They may clean up polluted areas, advise policy makers or work with specific industries to reduce waste and pollution. They determine data collection methods for research products, investigations and surveys and collect and compile environmental data from samples of air soil, water, food and other materials for scientific analysis. They analyze samples, surveys and other information to identify and assess threats to the environment and develop plans to prevent control of fixed environmental problems including land, water or air pollution. Environmental specialists provide information and guidance to government, officials, businesses, and the public about possible environmental hazards and health risks. Environmental specialists prepare technical reports and presentations that explain their research and findings to upper management and other relevant peers. Environmental scientists need a bachelor's degree in environmental science, geography and regional planning, geology, ecology or related fields. Now let us understand what are the roles and responsibilities of an environmental management specialist. The most common job responsibilities of an environmental management specialist are as follows. The first one is developing and maintaining management information systems which identify the location of hazardous materials in all facilities. The second one is updating and delivering employee training programs related to hazards material and waste. The third one is supervising work of outside contractors involved in removing or testing hazardous materials. The fourth one is investigating employees' complaints concerning exposure to hazards, material or air pollutants. The fifth one is maintaining accurate records related to chemical inventories, complaint investigations and shipments of hazardous waste. Sixth is keeping informed of current and proposed regulation related to program areas assigned. The seventh one is performing related field work as required. The eighth one is sampling hazardous and or industrial waste and bulk sampling of material suspected of containing asbestos. The ninth one is maintaining operation and inspection logs. The tenth one is submitting clear and concise written reports based on field inspections. Eleventh one is recommending and coordinating the development of programs needed by the district to comply with hazardous materials regulations. The twelfth one is providing coordinating with regulatory agencies in regard to hazardous material. The thirteenth one is disseminating right to no information. And the last one is performing other duties as assigned. And now finally, let us discuss about the key and typical skills possessed by an environment management specialist. The key skills of an environment management specialist are Is a professional at all times with strict attention to detail and time management skills. Prior experience as a consultant. A natural problem solver and collaborator. Demonstrated sound, work ethic, positive attitude and critical thinking skills. Has a collaborative spirit and a positive attitude. Experience with HAZOP, GIS and writing protocols. And the last one is comfortable providing technical assistance. 
we have now come to the conclusion of this session in case you have any questions regarding the topic which we have discussed today then please put them in the comment section of the video till we meet next in another session it's best wishes from tnm academy thank you